Greetings once again. Apple Stump Bushcraft here with you today. The subject is how to boil water in an unconventional container. Something you might find along the trail and you wouldn't ordinarily think of it as being capable of boiling water. We have another twist and turn in that plot. We're going to also use an unconventional heat source, so stick around and we'll see what happens. Alright, you may be asking yourself, and maybe not, what is the unconventional heat source? Stainless steel Zippo lighter, and it's full of fluid. That's going to be our heat source. Our unconventional container is going to be a discarded peanut can. Steel bottom, kind of foil-ish or foil-coated cardboard inside. So naturally you wouldn't be able to set this next to the fire and use it because the cardboard probably would burn through. So we're going to put some water in there. Now, something else you might have found along the trail, a plastic bottle discarded. And so we filled this up in a creek, but we're not sure of the quality of the creek water, so we're going to boil it in order to drink it. Can't boil it in this, so we're going to boil it in that. Let's pour in about a cup of water or so, probably about there. I'm going to cheat a little bit because it's windy here. It's always windy in Idaho. So. The only cheat I'm going to use is a windscreen. So this is a windscreen I made out of a, a tin can. So the possible application of this on the trail is maybe you found an old rusty tin can that's not good for putting water in necessarily, but you can cut off both ends of it and make a windscreen. How's that for adaptation? So, light the lighter, the windscreen around it. Can on top. So once again we're using a piece of trash that we found that can hold water but not necessarily withstand the fire at least along the side of it. And we found an old tin can that's not suitable for holding water or heating water in because it's too rusty. But we were able to cut both ends of it off, slit it down the middle and make a windscreen. We've got our Zippo cigarette lighter full of fluid and I typically carry one of those in my kit along with a small fluid reservoir as just one of my alternate means of combustion. So I have that with me. So I scooped up some water out of the stream. It's questionable. I'm going to boil that water and make it safe for drinking. The question is, can we boil a cup of water on a Zippo lighter full of fuel and have something safe to drink? There's something quite interesting is happening here. I hadn't really anticipated it. The thought crossed my mind that it might happen. You see that huge flame coming out of there is much, much bigger. The windscreen has concentrated the heat so much in there that the excess fuel being held in the fuel reservoir inside the lighter is vaporizing and coming out through the uh, space between the lighter body and the outer casing. So we're burning fuel vapor there. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it. A lot of fire going to waste there. Okay, the fuel is burned out of the lighter. It's completely out. The water is not boiling. It's steaming. And it's quite hot. But that's not boiling enough to make it safe, so we're going to have to pronounce that technique a failure. Now we have another one we're going to try, so stand by for that. For this example, we're going to use something a little bit more conventional, a penny stove. There's a penny. We're going to use a penny stove, same container, same amount of water, and uh, some denatured alcohol. The penny stove takes about, oh, two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. A lot of times they say you need to prime it. Ordinarily I would put a piece of aluminum foil down on there to accomplish that with. But I have my old reliable stump here. Prime it like that. Okay. Penny on there. 
Now, you can't see an alcohol flame during the daytime. It sounds to me like it's working, so I'm going to put the windscreen on there so I can visualize it. And I feel heat coming off of it. Same container, again using the windscreen. And we'll see what happens. We're three or four minutes in here, and you can see a little steam maybe. Small bubbles forming on the bottom. So I expect it's going to be boiling before too long. So the penny stove ran dry. I didn't put enough fuel in it. Now another thing I carry in my packs is uh, about four or five ounces of denatured alcohol in an alcohol burner. I'll put a little bit more fuel in this this time. And we'll strike it. Prime it again like we did before. I'm going to adjust the windscreen a little bit so it's facing away from the wind. I'm going to put the pot on top. Fits just perfect. One of the tough things to tell about alcohol burners is when they run out of fuel because you can't really see the flame. Just take something like this, which is a pine needle, and poke it in there. There we go. So, it is working. Something else that most of us have in our kits is aluminum foil. Perhaps why the water is not boiling as fast as I think it should, because it's not covered. So I took my little sheet of aluminum foil, and that's probably half of what I usually carry. I carry about two square feet. And I made a makeshift lid over the top of that can. It's on a soft boil right now, and we'll check it again in a couple minutes. So the wind blew the cover off a time or two. I had to find something to put on top of it to hold it down. It just so happened that the water collection bottle was a good fit for that. So I set that on top of there. We have a good strong boil going on in there. Now since I took the foil lid off, the rolling has slowed down a little bit, but you can see that it's going. That's a pretty good boil. And as soon as the boil is going on for a minute or so, the water's safe to drink. Now, here's something that's a little concerning. You can see how the wall of the container buckled a little bit right there and that's the paper and so I might worry about that just a little bit obviously a metal container is better choice if you've got one well there you have it one way I don't recommend and that would be a Zippo lighter that's best left for lighting fires rather than cooking the second method using an alcohol stove pretty good if you don't have a completely metal container, at least it got that to boil in a paper lined container. Don't forget to like or subscribe if you think we're doing anything useful here, or even if you just enjoyed it. Thanks again. Bye.